Hey everybody, Kyle here. Just wanted to show you a cool little trick I just found while talking to a customer. Um, if you didn't know this, uh, you're going to be blown away. If you did know this, then I'm behind the curve and you should be teaching me stuff. Um, but this is a, a little shoe last and I've got a mash of sub D and a nerves here and I'm going to hide these pieces and I have this piece of geometry that I made flat but I want to contour it to this this nerve last so I'm actually going to use the project curve or control points I'm going to select this object I'm going to go to the top view and I'm going to pick my last and it projects the sub D onto the last and if we take a peek at it it's fully formed has all of the bits and pieces of sub D's that we love and it's ready to roll. That's cool you say but it gets better. I can actually do this on sub D to sub D. So I can grab all of this guy. I can project it onto a sub D and I'm going into the top view because it's easy for a Reiner to calculate when it's in an orthographic view. But we can see here same thing fully formed ready to roll sub D Topology is the same, all that kind of stuff. That's amazing, you say. But wait, there's more. I can actually take this and project this onto a mesh or a quad mesh, just like I can the sub D of the nerves. And it retains all of its editing properties and topology from the original object. Pretty awesome, huh? I think there's a ton of uh, applications for this. I hope you thought this was as cool as I was. I'm still learning things every day. I try to share them with you when I do. Um, that's about it. That's my tip for the day. Hope you enjoyed. Go make great stuff.